just wanted to say things are hard, good, do them anyway. Like today, I didn't feel like going to the gym. This man did not, look at his face. Look at his face, that does not look like a face that wants to go to the gym. <laughs> he did not want to go to the gym. <laughs> yep. And we both went anyway. Coding is hard. Coding is difficult. There will be days where you don't want to do, do it at all. You're going to get opportunities, whether it's in freelancing or you're applying to platforms like Wizan, Take Lessons, or Upwork. This is a student from Clever Programmer, Yangi Zhang, and she actually made this comment two years ago, which was super cool. And she said, I followed your tutoring others idea, went on to Wizant, and landed my first session in under 72 hours. So this is actually that possible. You could do this right away and make it work. It can take as little as 72 hours. It might not happen for you, but you could give it a try. Or code mentor or whatever it is in your country. And I always hear, it doesn't work in my country. It doesn't matter, all right? You, it, there's some equivalent in your country that works, so just look it up. Like, it's called Google, so just use it. Ah, oh, that, now that I got out. There's still gonna be somebody in the comments who's gonna be like, but it doesn't work in my country. Well, yes, I, at this point, I can't help you. Okay, with that said. Move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 seriously, move. In that case, move. if there isn't even an equivalent, then just move. That's probably the best. If there is no freelancing opportunity in your country, that probably is representative of how much opportunity in general is in that country, so you should probably move. Yep, that's uh, that's the best advice uh, we can give you. Like then then start watching Gary V's content and like flipping trash. Get it on eBay, God damn it, four dollars, four fucking dollars a day for five thousand years. And you shut when you're happy. And turning it from two dollars into fifty dollars or a hundred dollars. And I love Gary V, by the way. The fucking coding content, you're not gonna put out anything that day. Right. I'd rather you film yourself drinking a cup of coffee and maybe talking about the story of why you started coding in the first place. So, like, I'm actually giving this advice from the bottom of my heart. Like, if there are no freelancing opportunities and there are no coding opportunities at all, then don't do it. Then do something else, okay? Just, like, be very practical about what it is that you need to do. Like, I don't care if you code and make your income from coding or you do something else. Like, as long as you're very resourceful of what you do and how you do it. Okay, with that said, freelancing opportunities will be hard. Even when people get those opportunities, they don't want to apply. Even when they get those opportunities, sometimes they don't want to take action on it. Sometimes they don't want to go in for the interview. Sometimes you might not feel like applying to one more client. Like, I tell people, hey, if you're going to make a platform, uh, you're going to make a, yeah, like a profile on a platform like why is that or take lessons to coach people in coding here's a student Casey who's a student um, at clever programmer and he also has a profile and as you can see he's gotten multiple students he also has four reviews and from there he's been getting lots of work and he's made decent amount he's made a few thousand dollars from just teaching others already in just a few months okay here's his LinkedIn profile so you guys can <laughs> go and check him out or message him whatever the case may be here's jesse who's another student and she has a profile on take lessons for teaching beginners python and uh, she has a profile on wise ant as well you need to be like reaching out to 50 to 100 people a day if you don't feel like it well do it anyway all right, so some, some days it'll be really hard, I know. Some days if it's really hard, then apply to one person. Apply to five people, all right? You don't have to do it for 50 things. Code for one hour instead of coding for five or 10 hours at a time. But start, do a little every single day, even if you don't have motivation, and especially if it's hard, my friend, do it anyway. That's it. Raining out here in Chicago. I'm back in Chicago, right outside of Starbucks. But I just launched my Earn 1K program. And this is a program if you wanna know how to land your first client, really get started, because I know a lot of you are beginners. 
a lot of you are trying to get your first freelancing client. If you're a professional developer, it might still help you because you'll learn how to get that first client if you haven't already. But this program really goes hard on the soft skills that you need to succeed. Uh, and it talks about different platforms where you can succeed like Upwork, Take Lessons, Craigslist, how to utilize meetups and build those relationships before you need them. It's a pretty great program. If I were you, I'd at least click the link below and check out. I have a pretty epic video there for you so you can learn more about it. Being completely broke to then learning how to code in just a few months, landing my contract as a freelancer with Python and being able to make $20,000 while I- And enjoy. That's it. I'm Kazi. I'm gonna go hang out with my boy Tenzin in there. Peace.